You are amazing and wonderful. Do you know that? Do you know that Jesus loves you? You are his favorite and he rejoices over you and he triumphs over you with thanksgiving. And he says, I love you. You're perfect. You're great. You're beautiful in my eyes. It's what Jesus says. He desires you. Yes, he does. His thoughts are awesome towards you. And we are learning from the Lord today. The Lord wants me to read Daniel 9. And we are going to learn from the Lord. So bless you. And we're going to go right into his word so that his word can get into us. So we start here. It says, In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem and I set my face unto the Lord God to seek my prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes and I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said O oh Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments. We have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from the precepts and from your judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto the servants, the prophets, which spoke in your name to our kings, our princes and our fathers and to all the people of the land. O oh Lord, righteous belongs unto you, but unto us confusion of faces at it as is as at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off. Though all the countries whither there have driven them because of their trespasses, that they have trespassed against you. O oh Lord, to us belongs confusion of faith to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against you. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness. Through, though we have rebelled against him, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yea, all Israel has transgressed the law, even by departing, that they might not obey your voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us in the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him and he has confirmed us words which he spoke against us and against our judges that judged by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven has not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem as it is written in the law of Moses all this evil has come upon us yet Made we not our prayer before the Lord our God, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand your truth. Therefore has the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. For the Lord our God is righteous in all his works, which he does, for we obeyed not his voice. And now, O Lord our God, that has brought your people forth out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand and has gotten you renowned as it as at in this day. We have sinned. We have done wickedly. O oh Lord, according to all your righteousness, I beseech you, let your anger and your fury be returned away from the from your city Jerusalem, the holy mountain, because for our sins. And for the iniquities of our father Jerusalem and your people are become a reproach to all that are about us. Now therefore, O our God, hear the prayer of your servant 
and his supplications and cause your face to shine upon your sanctuary that is desolate for the Lord's sake. O oh my God, incline your ear and hear upon and open. And here, open your eyes and behold their desolations in the city which is called by your name. For we do not present our supplications before you for our righteousness, but for your great mercies. O oh Lord, hear. O oh Lord, forgive. O oh Lord, hearken and do. Defer not for your own sake. O oh my God, for the city and your people are called by your name. And while I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication before the Lord my God for the holy mountain of my God. Yes, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation and he informed me and talked to me and said "O oh, Daniel I am now come forth to give you skill and understanding at the beginning of your supplications the commandment came forth and I am come to show you for you are greatly beloved therefore understand the matter and consider the vision Seventy weeks are determined upon your people and upon your holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Now, therefore, and understand that that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the prince shall be seven weeks and three score and two weeks. The street shall be built again and the wall even in trouble, tri tribulous times. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off. But not for himself and the people of the prince. They shall come, shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood. And unto the end of the war, desolations are determined. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the ob oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate even until the consumption and the determined shall be poured upon the desolate 